Hey, hi, this is Varsha and again, welcome to the QA Build in my automation channel. So today's session, I'm going to tell one of the famous interview question of Selenium automation. So let me quickly share my screen so I can show you the question. Yeah. So the question is, there is a two ways to declaring Chrome driver object like web driver driver is equals to new Chrome driver and another one is a Chrome driver driver is equals to new Chrome driver. So which one you want to refer? So uh, as you saw in many Selenium automation scripts, like this is the first line of our script, right? This web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. This is the first line of our script. But you really know about the internal concept about this line. So uh, although, although we know like using this line of code, we are invoking a browser, we are creating an object for this particular Chrome driver. So we can uh, we can access this Chrome driver. But why we are uh, why we are creating uh, this web driver object? Why we are not creating direct Chrome driver object, right? So that is the interview question. Let me quickly explain the concept so you, you can understand the theme, okay? So let's first understand from left to right, like what is this, what is this, and what is this? Okay, so let me select one highlighter here. So this web driver is an interface. This is a predefined interface inside this Selenium library. And driver is a reference, basically, a reference variable of this interface. And new, new is a predefined Java keyword. Using this new keyword, we are creating a memory for this particular driver. Okay, and then Chrome driver is a class. Okay, and as this is a, as this web driver is an interface is a predefined interface inside the Selenium uh, library. So it having few set of uh, methods. Let me tell you, like inside this web driver, we have those many methods. Those are the very basic Selenium methods like get, close, get title, so on. So those are the very basic Selenium methods that uh, that. Uh, declare inside this web driver interface inside this interface okay and while this chrome driver class is implementing this particular web driver this is implemented right you can see a chrome driver classes implements web driver interface so while this chrome driver classes implements this particular interface the responsibility of this chrome driver is implementing all this method inside this Chrome driver class. Okay, as you can see, this is the declaration of any method and this is the implementation of any method. So once we create a reference of this particular interface, then this, inter this particular reference variable having the rights to access all the Selenium specific methods which are declared inside the web driver interface, okay? So in this particular line, whenever we are creating, uh, whenever we are creating this reference variable, so this reference variable is able to access all the Selenium, uh, Selenium specific methods and that, that specific methods we need to use in our particular Selenium automation script. Okay, so that's why we are creating this line as a first line. So that our, our browser is uh, start invoking and we can, uh, we can execute some ex actions on our uh, Chrome, Chrome browser. Okay. And what is the next line? So the next one, as you saw, this Chrome driver driver is equal to new Chrome, Chrome driver, right? So this is also a good line. This is also a perfect line that is also worked. But this is not recommended by Selenium. Why? Let's understand. So as we know, like this Chrome driver is implements this particular web driver interface. And inside this Chrome driver, this method implementations are uh, there and also it have it having few chrome driver specific methods okay as you can see these are the chrome driver specific methods so inside this particular chrome driver class we have the implementation of web driver class web driver methods and uh, and also we have chrome driver some specific methods and as we create an object of this, uh, let me create one second. Let me create a Chrome driver object here. Let's say the uh, name is Chrome driver one. 
so when we create a object of chrome drive direct chrome driver class so this this driver object driver one object is having rights to access this methods and as well as this methods as well this uh, chrome specific methods as you can see so uh, if you use any chrome specific method accidentally used in your selenium script so that particular script will not work in work in your any other browsers like some firefox browser or some microsoft edge browser so if you invoke this particular uh, script in some other browsers that time this script will be failed okay so we can't uh, use both uh, we can't use chrome driver specific methods inside this selenium script so that is not that's why this is not recommended and we are using only this line got it so uh, like for this particular selenium automation script we only need to use on uh, we only need to use selenium specific method that are uh, declared inside the web driver interface but inside the chrome driver interface uh, inside the chrome driver class we have those methods and these methods as well chrome driver specific method but we don't need to use this method in our selenium script auto selenium automation script so that's why we are not creating a direct object of any browser so this is not a recommended line got it so this is the difference between this uh, two line of code and which one is recommended and which one is not recommended that you i uh, that you understood right so uh, this way you can explain the internal uh, internal functionality to your interviewer so they can understand like you have knowledge on that and they will understand your answer okay so i hope you understood something from this uh, session and this is like quickly helping you to understand the concept about the uh, like how we can invoking our chrome browser in our automation script so thanks for watching thank you and if you are new for this channel then please subscribe please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video then please give a big thumbs up thanks